In the previous tutorial, we discovered what a function is and learned about packages. And in this tutorial, we discover the pipe operator. So we are now going to look at the pipe operator. So we've just had a look at how we can kind of uh, grab the file path to a data file. Now, what if we wanted to read these data in? There's different ways we can do this. Um, but most of the code uh, or the, the, that I teach and, the, and kind of the tidyverse approach to coding uh, uses the pipe operator. So we're just going to take this opportunity to, to look at a kind of a fairly simple example of a pipe. So um, we've used the here function to grab this, this long file path. And what we can do then is use the pipe to kind of send that file path into another function. So the pipe operator is a way to connect functions together. So you can literally imagine this like a pipe with kind of, uh, you know, the sewage of your of your code flowing through it. And um, so, yeah, we use the here function. There's some output from the here function. So we've got, you know, the, the here function sort of flowing through our pipe. The output of that, if we then open up the pipe, the output of the here function can then drift through the pipe into the next function. So when you see code like this, what it's effectively doing is taking the output of the first function and feeding that output into the next function as, a, as an input. So the code we've got up here on the screen, what that's doing, it's going to create an object that we've called edify. It's using the assignment operator to, uh, to create it. And then everything on the right tells uh, R how to create it. And like I said, we're combining two functions. We're using the read c underscore CSV function from the read R package, and that basically reads in comma separated uh, value uh, text files. Um, and yeah, so what it needs is a file path. It needs to know the location of the CSV file that you want to read in. So where is it on your computer? So what we're doing here is we're using the here function to get the address of it to, to, to you know, get the location as a big string of text, and then that location is being fed into the read CSV function. So it's like saying, yeah, my, my file's here, and that location gets fed into read CSV, and then read CSV will read it in. So let's have a look at this in practice. Um, I'm gonna put in another code chunk. It doesn't have to be in a separate code chunk. Uh, so edify, that's what we're creating, put an assignment operator and I'm just going to grab this bit of code from up here because we've already written it. So that's going to get us the file path of where our CSV file is. And then I'm going to put the pipe in, I'm using the keyboard shortcut there. And it's just, you don't have to press return at this point. I'm just pressing return because it keeps the code a bit neater if you do returns after your pipes. And then we're going to use read r read underscore CSV. So we've now connected those two functions using a pipe. If we click on the green arrow. We get a message from uh, R basically telling us that it's read the data in. Again, if we want to look at whether that's worked properly, we can highlight the word edify. I've just double clicked on it. And again, I'm just gonna do a command return. And that executes that highlighted bit of code. So it's just gonna show us what's in edify. Basically what's in edify is uh, some data from a CSV file. So it's got lots and lots of columns. If we click on this black arrow, we can see there's many, many, many more columns. And these are Spotify data. So this is every recorded song of Iron Maiden with variables that Spotify creates about, you know, like the energy levels of the song, the valence of the song, the loudness of the song, those sorts of things. But anyway, essentially 
that has successfully read our data in. Now let's have a look at um, a few more pipes. Seems like a reasonable thing to do, right? So um, let's, that's quite a big data set. Now imagine we just want to look at like a subset of the data. Um, maybe just like the energy levels of the song and uh, I don't know, the valence of the song and the track name, something like that. Let's create a new object. I'm going to call it energy underscore tib. And put the assignment operator in. And how are we going to create it? Well, we're going to take our edify variable. Again, our studio is helping us out here. And we're going to use a function. Uh, so we put a pipe in. We're going to use a function from dplyr called select. And this is for, uh, there's you know loads about this in my interactive tutorials. But this allows us to select uh, columns from um, a data object. So we've got our edify and we just need to put into the select function what columns we want because edify the, the data object is being piped into select. So select knows what it's, you know, what it's kind of acting upon. Uh, so we now tell it that we just want track name, oops, energy and valence. And if we execute this code, again, actually, if we just press uh, command return uh, it will just execute that line of code so it's executed that line of code let's see what's in energy tibble by again double clicking on that name to highlight it and doing command return we now have a, a sort of a you know a, a smaller data set that only has the track names the energy levels and the valence let's try something else just to, to show you more kind of more piping really so in another code chunk, let's say we wanted to plot energy levels and valence. Um, we, yeah, this is not the only way to do it, but one way to do that would be to say, take the edify object. Again, we want to pipe that into dplyr select. But this time we're just going to select energy and valence. So we're just going to select those two variables, but now do another pipe and put them into the plot function. So this is stringing together three functions now. Well, kind of. It's saying um, take the data, pipe the data into the select function, and when it's in there, select the variable called energy and the variable called valence. And then what's coming out of that is just those two variables, and they're being piped into the plot function and so when we execute this code chunk, we'll get a plot of energy versus valence. So it's just giving you some demonstrations of uh, piping, basically, how, how we use the pipe to connect together um, different uh, functions into a, a nice, you know, kind of readable uh, line of uh, commands. Now, if we, wanted to, if we wanted to save this plot, we could do that by giving it a name, say, Eddie scatter and using the assignment operator 